road. <laughs> then we had a spot of bother. Child ran across the road right in front of the lorry. Steady! That's it, sir. That's what, Brady? When the order ready was given. Is that right, Tom Miller? No, sir. But I heard it, sir. I gave no order, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yes, Hinch. I heard Sergeant Miller shout, steady, sir. Perhaps that's what Brady heard and thought it was the order ready, sir. Well, Tom Miller, is that so? That's right, sir. I shouted at the driver, steady on. Well, Brady? I don't know, sir. I, I think so. It was the order. I, I must have panicked. I would like to point out, sir, we have been on duty ten hours. That's no excuse, Sergeant. Uh, no, sir. Uh, well, sir, we patrolled the area for about another hour, and then we was ordered back to base. Come on, let's have it, lad. Oh, All right, fall in three ranks. Brady, get the stretch off the force when I'm putting the hood. Right. Carry on, Tom Miller. Hello. I gave the order to unload. Did you unload, Brady? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Uh. Well, Brady? Yes, sir, I am sure. Place your magazines in this box. Thompson, be careful. We're all tired, you know. Go on. What happened then, Sergeant? We went through the unloading bay, sir. So, in fact, your rifle wasn't cleared by Sergeant Miller? No, sir. Ted, though, the number one bull merchant. <laughs> Can we better do that, Hans? Sure. Don't take a minute. Only my own mum can see me now. <laughs> Energetic, you can take mine. <laughs> we checked it. What do you want? Blood? I've checked it and cleaned it. <laughs> in for a penny, in for a pound, your rifle, Jim. Have you cleaned it? No, I'm too tired. I'll, I'll do it tomorrow. Well, give me your rifle. I've got to get them locked up. You want it? You take it. <laughs> oh, look, look, stop messing about. So who would you say was to blame? Well? Well? Well, it certainly wasn't my fault. No. Poor Brady. I suppose he'd be sent back to England now. Yeah, poor old Brady. It had to be him. He's only an office clerk. What does he know about rifles? Much as you, me, Lewis. Legitant was right. We're all to blame in one way or the other. Brady because he was in a panic, didn't think or check, and didn't bother afterwards because he was tired. The Lance Corporal for calling Brady out of line, not reminding him to go and clear his weapon. The Sentry for not making sure all the rifles had been checked. Even Sergeant Miller, he didn't bother to check. 
And it's his responsibility more than anybody else. And even Lewis, who always checked, made the mistake of fooling around with Brady. Yeah, well, I got the impression the adjutant was trying to blame me. Look how he had me doing all that loading and unloading drill. Only to prove a point. Well, you handed back the rifle, you left the safety catch on, you missed it. Well, I was nervous, wasn't I? Oh, no, Pete, your face gave you away. You were so confident, you were too confident. You forgot it. Look! I didn't kill Lewis. I don't feel in the least bit guilty. Well, I do. Ted checked my rifle and he checked yours. I cleaned it, it was clear. So had I, but he still checked them. Our rifles are our responsibility. Cleaning them, checking them, it goes with the job. And if you don't do it properly, someone's liable to get hurt. Ted was the only one who thought about it. And he was just as tired as we were, but he still did his job. Yeah, well, he got careless, didn't he? Because we didn't do our job. If we had, we'd been trained, all of us. Ted might still be alive. I have here a letter. I would like to read it to you. It concerns us all. Dear Major Johnson, I would like to thank you and the men of my son's regiment for the flowers and the generous gift of money. We buried my son yesterday. Your wreath was so beautiful, and the money you sent is going towards a headstone, just a plain one. He was a good boy, and we will miss him, but we must go on living. I had a letter from Ted's friend, Jim Brady, telling me how it happened. Please assure the men I blame no one, but please tell them to take care. Don't let what happened to him happen to them. Let his accident be the last of its kind. Thank you all once again for all your kind thoughts. Sincerely, Mrs. Thelma Lewis. I would like to be able to write to Mrs. Lewis and tell her that her son was the last. Unfortunately, I can't. Since he was shot, We've had another incident involving a civilian this time. Each and every one of you has been trained in the correct manner of loading and unloading your weapons. Lewis knew and checked, but he died because someone else didn't. They were negligent. It's up to every individual to check. That means you, 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 and me, all of us without exception. Check, or we'll have many, many more Ted Lewises. The next one might be you. Check. 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 